10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And lift off. Allumage EAP, décollage. Décollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. James Webb Space Telescope has now completed the most challenging part of its mission. It has successfully deployed all five layers of its tennis court sized sun shield. There are 344 single point failure items on the James Webb Space Telescope. With a successful sun shield deployment, about 75% of those failures have retired. The biggest space telescope ever built, Webb is actually an infrared observatory. Since infrared radiations are a signature of an object in the form of heat, it's vital to keep Webb at extremely low temperatures to prevent its own infrared radiations from interfering with the observations it makes. Hence, Webb has a massive sun shield that protects it from the sun's radiations, keeping the instruments cool at a minimum of 36 Kelvin. It comprises five layers and will always remain between the sun, earth, moon, and the telescope. Each layer has been made of a lightweight material called kapton. It has a high heat resistance and remains stable across a wide range of temperatures from minus 269 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. Moreover, it does not melt or burn at the highest of these temperatures. Further, each layer has been given a coating of aluminum. The sun-facing side of the two hottest layers, designated layer one and layer two, also have a doped silicon coating to reflect the sun's heat into space. Each successive layer is cooler than the one below with an SPF 1 million. The vacuum between the layers acts as a perfect insulator and helps the heat radiate out. Each layer is incredibly thin, with layer 1 only 0.05 millimeters thick and the other four being 0.025 millimeters thick. The diamond shape and the number of layers have made it lightweight and sturdy. But at the same time, the intricacies involved in the construction of the sun shield made its deployment one of the most challenging tasks of the entire mission. The deployment of the sun shield began three days after launch on December 28, 2021. It started with the unfolding of the two pallet structures, forward and aft. Then the DTA separated the telescope from the sun shield. Following this, the aft momentum flap and membrane covers were released and deployed. After that, the sunshield membrane covers were released. The mid-booms deployment allowed the sunshield to extend to its full width of 14.1 meters. Finally, on January 4, 2022, the sunshield was fully tensioned and secured into position. This marked the completion of the intense task of sunshield deployment. In total, the sunshield assembly occupied 140 of Webb's 178 total release mechanisms. It also included approximately 70 hinge assemblies, eight deployment motors, bearings, springs, gears, and about 400 pulleys and 90 cables, totaling a length of 400 meters. This brought Webb a step closer to making spectacular observations. Webb will take another few days to reach its destination the L2 point. On its journey, it will pull off another crucial and nail-biting deployment of its mirrors. Webb will be placed about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, around the L2 point. If anything goes wrong, it won't be able to receive human services like Hubble. Hence, everything has to go according to plan for the telescope to work. Wishing Webb clear skies and wide eyes. Share this video and subscribe for more updates on astronomy events.